हेलो फ्रेंड्स गुड मॉर्निंग इन प्रीवियस लेक्चर वी डिस्कस एक्सरसाइज 3.2 अप टू क्वेश्चन नंबर 3 टुडे वी विल डिस्कस द क्वेश्चन नंबर 4 ऑफ एक्सरसाइज 3.2 ओके क्वेश्चन नंबर 4 द क्वेश्चन ऑफ फॉर इज दैट व्हिच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग पेयर्स ऑफ इन इक्वेशंस आर कंसिस्टेंट इनकंसिस्टेंट इफ कंसिस्टेंट ऑप्टेन अ सॉल्यूशन ग्राफिक ओके द फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज दैट x plus 5 x plus y equal to 5 and second one is 2x plus 2y equal to 10 for example we compare we can write it as x plus y is 5 equal to 0 and 2x plus 2y minus 10 equal to 0 we compare it a1 plus b1 y plus c1 equal to 0 and a2x plus b2 y plus c2 equal to g ok now here we get the ratio of a1 upon a2 b1 upon b2 and c1 upon c we see that a1 upon a coefficient of x is in this equation 1 and coefficient of x is this is 2 here coefficient of y is 1 of y is 2 and coefficient of x minus 5 is for constant and minus 5 and here my constant and minus 10 we see that a1 upon a2 equal to 1 by b1 upon b2 equal to 1 by 2 and c1 upon c2 equal to 5 1 by 5 and the 10 here will also 1 upon 2 we see that a1 upon a2 equal to b1 upon b2 equal to c1 upon c2 equal to 1 by 2 this are equal hence it has many solutions many solutions and it will be consistent ok as you know that the condition of consistency if a pair of linear equations has solution then it is said to be consistent and two conditions when the pair of linear equations has solution if a1 upon a2 not equal to b1 upon b2 in this case it will have unique solution and the second one is if a1 upon a2 equal to b1 upon b2 is equal c2 then it has many solution in this case we we see that a1 upon a2 equal to b1 upon b2 is equal c2 hence it has many solutions and it is called consistent ok now with the graph for this equation see that for first of all first we see that here y equal to 5 minus x y equal to 5 minus x first ok here we put the value of x and we get the value of y, y. x y here if we take x equal to 5 then y equal to 0 and when we take x equal to 0 we get y equal to 5 and when we take x equal to 2 we get y equal to 3 now second second is here the 2x plus 2y equal to 10 or 2y equal to 10 minus 2x or y equal to 10 minus 2x upon 2 here table x y when x equal to 5 to 5 to 10 table 10 0 0 upon 2 0 5 0 ok when we take x equal to 0, 2 into 0, 0, 10 minus 0, 10 upon 2 is 5, 5. Ok. When we take x equal to 2, 2 0, 4, 10 minus 4, 6, 6 upon 2 is 3. Ok. Now, we plot the graph. 
First of all, you will find the ratio of a one upon a two, b one upon b two, c one upon c two, and all of the conditions which we have we know, a one upon a two, not equal to b one upon b two, you solve it. A one upon a two equal b one upon b two equal c one upon c two. Many solutions. In these two conditions, the pair of linear equations is said to be consistent. If the third one is a one upon a two equal b one upon two, but not equal to b one upon c two, then it have no solution, and the pair of linear equations is said to be inconsistent. Okay. Now we draw the graph. Find this. Okay. As we see that all the values are same, it will represent a consonant line. S, I told you that many times, that we will draw only a rough graph on the boards. You will have to draw the neat and clean and carefully the graph on the graph paper to get the exact values. Okay? Here it is. What is zero zero? One, two, three, four, five, six, and so on. Here one, two, three, four, five, and six, and so on. Okay. First of all, five zero is on the axis five, and y is zero. This will be five. And second, x zero, y five. This will be zero five. Okay. Two three, x two, y three. The point will be something here. When you will draw, you will see that all points lie on the same straight line. On this, divided also same. Hence, both equation will start. So the same straight line is coincident lines. That is, x plus y equal to five and two x plus two y equal to ten. Okay. In this way, the first part is completed. Now we see this. The second one is x minus y equal to eight. X minus y equal to eight, and x minus t y equal to sixteen. T x minus t y equal to sixteen. Compare the picture like this. X minus y minus eight equal to zero. T x minus t y minus sixteen equal to zero. Here, a one x plus b one y. The same equal zero. A two x plus B two y plus C two equal zero. Here A one upon A two equal to one by three. B one upon B two equal to minus one upon minus three. And C one upon C two equal to minus eight upon minus sixteen. As we said, A one upon A two equal to one upon three. B one upon B two equal to one upon C, and C one upon C two equal to eight one by eight. We have sixteen one by two. Means A one upon A two equal to B one upon B two, but not equal to C one upon C two. This is the condition in which the pair of linear equations is start in consistent. Okay. In consistent. Now we see the third part of this question. The third part of this question is that two x plus y minus six equal to zero, and four x. Minus two y minus four equal to zero. We compare a one x plus b one y plus c one equal to zero and a two x plus b two y plus c one equal to zero. Here we see that a one upon a two equal to two upon four, two one just two two just four, and b one upon b two equal to One upon minus two. So a one upon a two equal to one upon two. 
B one upon B two equal to minus one upon two, and if we find C one upon C two, then we see that minus six upon minus four, two to the six, and two to the four. But we know that if A one upon A two not equal to B one upon B, as one upon two is not equal to minus one upon two, as A one upon A two is not equal to B one upon B two, hence it is cancelled. Hence, it is consistent. Now, we need to further this pair of linear equations. Okay. Now, see that. Further, further, further table for this. Here, we see that y equal to six minus two x. We put the value of y. X and we get the y. Here, x equal to zero, y equal to six, x equal to three, two to six minus six. This is zero. When we put x equal to two, two to the four, six minus four, two. Here, once again, x zero, two to zero, zero, six minus zero, six, x three, two to six, six minus three, the six minus six zero, and. If we put x equal to two to the four, six minus two, six minus four equal to two. Now we find the find the other here. Two y equal to four x minus four. Two y equal to four x minus four. Our y equal to four x minus four upon two. Okay. Now we find the table. Here we see that x y. When we put x equal to one, four hundred four four minus four zero zero one two zero. We get zero. Now we put x equal to two. When we put x equal to two, then we get four to the eight eight minus four 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 upon two two. When we get Put x equal to g four to the twelve twelve minus four eight eight upon two four means g and here four. Okay. Once again, when we put x equal to one four one the four minus four zero zero upon two is zero. When we put x equal to two four to the eight eight minus four upon four two to the four and we then put x equal to three four to the twelve twelve minus four. This eight eight upon two is four. Now we plot this value on the graph. Okay. Here we see that first x zero y six. One, two, three, four, five, and six. This will be equal to zero six. The next one is three zero. Means here one, two, three, three zero. And the next one is two two. Here one two one two means something here two okay now we see that that is here x equal to one y equal to zero one means here this will be one zero two two same point and three four three will here four will be something here when you join these two points. You will get this line, and when you join these points, you will get this. Means both equations. This is two x plus y minus six equal to zero, and this is four x minus two y minus four equal to zero. We intersect at point two two. This two two is the solution of this. Equation. Okay, this point two two is the solution of this equation. Okay, now the fourth part you will try by yourself. We will discuss the next question in the next video. Thank you.